pitch correction is mostly done so that uh, if there's something that, I don't want to say that's wrong, but that's not quite there with respect to the rest of the music uh, on the vocal, you can actually grab the vocal and correct the pitches so that they sit right where they're supposed to be sitting uh, while still being organic. And vocal processing in general is just to essentially give your vocal that edge so that it feels, uh, it doesn't feel like a demo, it feels like a full record. So a couple of programs that you could use, one of them being something called Waves Tune, which is uh, the easiest way to show the example. Uh, so let's load that up. It's, it's going to be under Pitch Shift, and here is Wave Tune. And most uh, pitch correction programs, I mean, obviously the most popular one out there would be Auto-Tune, which has a window that looks like this, but it's not the same. Uh, it doesn't work exactly the same. Uh, and then the most, uh, I guess, more accurate one would be uh, something like Melodyne. And, and this is Waves Tune. Somewhere in between Melodyne and Auto Tune lies Waves Tune. So I really like this one because essentially uh, the extra step that you have to take is uh, unlike Melodyne, you just have to capture the performance. You don't have to actually capture the audio. So when you capture the performance, you can just go. press play. There you go. So these little squares uh, that you see is essentially the root note that the plugin believes that note is, is in. And there's a lot of things going on in this plugin, but let's just concentrate on the basics one, right, uh, the basics right here. So let's say, for instance, we feel like that this section right here. You hear, I hear, you hear. For whatever reason, we feel like it's not in tune, uh, which sounds pretty much in tune. Uh, what you would do, <coughs> regardless of the program, is you would just take that block and you would move it to where you felt it needed to be, or what it should be. felt like, oh, you know what, I like that better, and you might, might, want, might want to work on the notes that come before it so that it, does, it makes some kind of sense, because right now it's going from really low to really high. So. so we might try and figure out like where that would be. Uh, one advantage that this plugin has is that it has these notes. Let's say, for example, we say, oh, it might be cool if it goes from here to there, so we could just double tap and it'll take it up there. Oh, can't you hear? And obviously that didn't work, so you just undo, and it'll take you back down to where you were. Uh, I'm just going to quantize all the notes there. And then there's green lines right here. Now, most of these plugins are going to have the same thing. This is the phrasing of, okay, of how it's being sang. And you can change that from the way it is right now, which has a lot of tremolo, to pretty much a straight line. And that would be like auto-tune would do, which basically means that you would have like, a, like an auto-tune type effect. Uh, each little block will have its own set of controllers. Now this is the light version of Waves Tune, so it's going to be sort of limited to what you can see, but you guys get the idea. So that was a little bit of a pitch correction and a little bit of a vocal process and there's so much more to do there. Uh, but of course, if you want to see more or learn more, please visit sae.edu for more tutorials and I'll see you next time.